The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hi there, my name is Sean Barrett, and welcome to Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that shines a spotlight on Northern songwriters. We're hoping that with this show, you're going to see a songwriter that you like, go out and support their show, buy a disc, legally download a tune, and uh, just get out there and support all the great talent that's right here in our own backyard. I've been in the local music scene for a long time, but Jig Jameson is a guy that I didn't know until, I think it was Facebook or something, right? Could Jig? Have been, could have been. I'm, I'm not really too sure how we managed to hook up, but it's good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too, Good Sean. to see you. Um, Jig rapidly became one of my favorite songwriters. Um, nice. As We Sail Into the Dark is one of my favorite discs, and that was one that came out a few years ago, right? Yep, two years ago now. Yeah. Why, don't you, why don't you tell me a little bit about that, and then we can talk about you know, what, you've got, uh, what you've got coming up. All right. Uh, actually, that, that whole album was recorded in uh, my backyard. Uh, I, had really? a little, I had a little studio in, the, uh, in my basement and uh, talked it over with the wife and uh, that. And uh, I was, I was kind of getting out of playing live at that time. Okay. So, uh, like, my, my son was born and I was, uh, you know, anyways, long story short, uh, I built a music studio in my backyard and uh, just continued on from the project I was doing in the basement. And I had a uh, fantastic guitar player on there, uh, Blake Bullrice, uh, played with uh, Chaser and uh, a couple other bands in, uh, in Lively, great guy. He spent a lot of time with me, helped me a lot with sound and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then uh, we both of us traded uh, parts on the bass guitar and uh, had Angie Nessa come in and sing, uh, sing a song with me uh, again and again. A fantastic job. She, That's uh, amazing yeah, team. It, oh, thank you so much. I love that one. Yeah, thanks. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty much it, and mm -hmm. uh, wrapped it up. And looking to record again soon. Yeah, um, but uh, me and Kyle are playing uh, Kyle Mackey, uh, mm -hmm. Kara Kane fame. Uh, playing, we're playing so many shows that it's hard to get the time in for writing. But uh, we're talking uh, with uh, uh, Mark St. Owens, the bass player. I think mm -hmm. we're going to get him, uh, Mark Mallow for drums. And Kyle's just writing so much stuff on guitar. I mean, he's just a monster when it comes to writing. So uh, he, I think he's going to do all the music for this one, and I'll, I'll pen the lyrics and uh, see where that takes if us. If I could just correct you on something, actually, yes. Kyle Mackey and Mark St. Owens were a Fat Freddy's Cat fame. That's, oh, yes, that's uh, right, too. <laughs> that's before right. Tara I remember, Kane, I remember that. That's right. Before that's Tara right. Kane, there was yes, Fat Freddy's yes, Cat. Right. That was, that was yeah. a band. Were you that involved was, in that? That was my band. <laughs> That's right, yes. They'll, they'll be surprised yeah. to hear it was my band and not theirs. <laughs> that's it, yes. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's really exciting. That's really cool. Yep. And yep. Uh, and the tune that you're going to do is a song that's going to appear on this new album? It's about my son, Jimmy. Right yeah, on. Yeah, my, uh, my little guy, Jimmy. Yeah, pretty much, uh, well, I mean, as far as anybody that has uh, kids, they change your life. Absolutely, 100%. For the better. Right on. Yeah. And it's about that. Yeah, it's about my son, it's Jimmy. It's a very yep. cool thing. Thank you. All right. I've been searching for a reason, but I haven't found it yet. Keep listening to the wind, but it ain't told me no answers yet. And man, I do wonder. A man on TV tried to sell me my soul. For all of my money, he'll get me front row. I don't think so. And yeah, what does he know? But then it hit me hard right out of the blue I found my religion, my answers too And what are the chances that all of my questions Just up and vanished, it's all because of you Eight pounds, four ounces If I could just call upstairs and talk to someone Cause no one down here will answer the phone It keeps ringing Yeah, it keeps ringing But I'm hoping someone is looking over me And 
Not that I need it, sometimes the sun it can't find me. Yeah, when I'm not hiding. But then it hit me hard right out of the blue. I found my religion, my answers too. And what are the chances that all of my questions just up and vanished? It's all because of you. Eight pounds, four ounces. Before I was scared of all the unknown, like why are we here and where do we go? I was just about ready to give up all hope, but that's all changed now that you showed up. But then it hit me hard, right out of the blue. I found my religion and my answers too. And what are the chances that all of my questions just up and vanished? It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. Eight pounds, four ounces. That was great. Thank you. I love that tune um, because I can really feel the emotion in it, and uh, and I've written songs about my kids too yeah. on uh, on my disc. There's one about my wife That's and my right. kids, and uh, and those songs really resonate with people too. I find is whenever somebody you know says, oh, "I listen to your disc," you know which one I really liked. Yeah. I can usually I can usually tell which one they're going to say first, second, and third. Yeah. So there's something relate, about that, yeah, you know, and, and that's exactly it. They relate to it, right? Yeah. Like you said, if you've got kids, um, you know, you're going to feel that one. Yeah, because, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, what else inspires you? I mean, you, you know, so you've written a song about your son. What, what other kinds of things, you know, light you up and it's, get you thinking? It could be anything. It yeah. could, I could go to, to the ride home and I could write a song about you on the way home, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> you it just, do, uh, do that for me, please? Yeah, I will, I will. That's good. Yeah, and something about Fat Freddy's Cat or something. Yeah, that's we'll awesome. Figure it out. Uh, no, it could be anything. Like uh, even when I was driving to work today, there was a, there was a sign uh, on one of our churches in Lively. It said, uh, "I'm striving to be the person my dog thinks I am." Yeah. I go, "Well, there's a great country <laughs> country song right there. You never Absolutely. know, right?" Absolutely. Yeah. So, but uh, it, it could be anything. Talking to somebody, getting a ride home with a cab driver. Uh, mm -hmm. could, you know, could be anything. Talking to people uh, generally uh, sparks something. Reading the National uh, National Enquirer sparks things. Uh, yeah, that can certainly spark stuff. <laughs> National um, Geographic. Uh, do you usually, uh, is it, it's, when you, do you start with lyrics? I mean, does the idea first come to you as a melody or is it? No, uh, most of the time it is, uh, I'll, I'll have something penned out, you know, yeah. if something hits me, I'll, I'll write something. And then uh, generally I'll just, uh, you know, transfer it over uh, on guitar uh, to try to fit the mood of whatever, whatever it is. Sure. And I think maybe wrote uh, two songs on the piano the same time I'm playing to, okay. but that doesn't happen very often. Do you um, do you have like what you keep a pen and paper with you? you keep like an MP3 player? Uh, yeah, uh, I, yeah, yeah. I used to do the MP3 player, and uh, I just found it easier just to write it down on something. Yeah. But uh, like I said, lately with uh, with the job and playing and uh, my uh, kids, my wife, my family, it's mm -hmm. songwriting's. Uh, I really got to put some time away for uh, on the side for it. You know? No question, because I know it gets dangerous. I mean, you're driving down the road, you're trying to <laughs> trying yeah. to steer with your with your knees yeah. and stuff like that. You're writing <laughs> exactly. something. People are driving yeah. by it. It's like, what are you yeah. doing, dude? There's not a law gets that yet. Uh, cell phones texting, yeah, but I think you can write songs. It's good, you can, song, you can write songs and drive. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. It. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you very much really for having me. I appreciate it, it. Why don't you uh, play a little lick or a little something to, sure. to play us out, man? Sure.